ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಭೋ ವಿಲಸತ್ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವ ಸಹಸ್ರಾದಿತ್ಯ ಸನ್ನಿಭ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿರನಾದ್ಯಂದು ಹರಿರಿಷ್ಟಂ ದದಾದು ನ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ರಿಲೆವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಾಸ್ ಕಮಂಡ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ಲೀಲಾವಧಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೊಲಿಫಿಕ್ ರೈಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇರಳ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರಾನಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ಪ್ರೊಮೊಗ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದ ದೃಗ್ಗಣಿತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸೊ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೀಲಾವಧಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಲ್ಮಿನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಗ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಮೇಜರ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಶಿರೋಮಣಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಜಗಣಿತ ಗೃಹಗಣಿತ ಗೋಳಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಗೋಳಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಲೀಲಾವಧಿ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೋಯಟಿಕ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಾವ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಲೀಲಾವಧಿ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಲಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ಹಿಸ್ಟೋರಿಯನ್ ಎ ಕೆ ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಏನ್ಷಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಿಡೀವಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಲಾವತಿ ಬಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಎ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ವರ್ನಾಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ತೆಲುಗು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಲಯಾಳಂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕೇರಳ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ರಿಚ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲೀಲಾವಧಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೇರಳ ಫೈವ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮಲಯಾಳಂ ಆಸ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೆ ವಿ ಶರ್ಮಾ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೇರಳ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರಾನಮಿ ಸೊ ದ ಟೂ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿವಿಲಾಸಿನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಕ್ರಮಗಿರಿ ಆರ್ ವೈಡ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಬೈ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ವಡಶೇರಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ನಂಬೂದ್ರೀಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ಲೀಲಾವತಿ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಡಿಟೆಡ್ ನೌ ದ ರೆಲೆವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಾಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ರೋನಾಲಜಿಕಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಆನ್ ಲೀಲಾವತಿ today we are going to discuss three points so the with regard to the commentaries commentaries in indian tradition are not merely scholastic efforts to explain the author's text often they contain the original ideas of the commentator which aim to extend or redefine the shastra while not disturbing the sampradaya or tradition so parameshwara's commentary is not an exception to this one so we'll see parameshwara's commentary on leelavadi and the authorship and the commentator and the features of parameshwara's commentary such as abundance of original examples and charm of illustrations use of bhuda sangya system observations on variant readings and interpolations supplementing optional or extended karna sutras precise definition of technical terms etc so this discussion will help to evaluate the relevance of parameshwara's commentary in extending and continuing the tradition of engaging with and extending the mathematical lore of the leelavadi in medieval kerala so reference to parameshwara's commentary on leelavadi has been given by kerlite historians like ullur s parameshwarayar vadakangur rajarajavarma n k kunjunni raja history of kerala school of hindu astronomy and new catalogus categorum have given reference to parameshwara's commentary with exact manuscript numbers in kerala school of hindu astronomy Sharma has given reference to three manuscripts of PCL and he names Parameshwara's commentary as Vivarana but it should be noted that neither these manuscripts neither these three manuscripts of PCL nor any other works of Parameshwara gives the name Vivarana apart from these 
three documented manuscripts. It has been found two palm leaf manuscripts preserved in the Tunjan Manuscript Repository of University of Calicut. Thus, a critical edition of Parameshra's commentary was prepared using all these five available manuscripts. Now the facts on the authorship of Parameshra's commentary. The text begins with the benedictory verses Lakshmi bho vilasat parshva sahasraditya sannibha jnana murti ranadhyando hari rishtam dadaduna pranamami ganeshanam parvatya anga samsthidam vagishwaram abitadha Sri Rudram cha Kripanidhim. So having paid obeisance to Lord Hari, the commentator moves towards Lord Ganesha, who sits on the lap of Parvati. He then goes towards Rudra and Brahma. The very next verse gives the name of the commentator as Nilaya Sagarasyabi Tirastha Parameshwara Vyakhyana Masmai Balaya Leela Vatya Karumyaham. So it has been stated that I Parameshara who lives on the banks of the river Nila and the sea, that is Arabian Sea, is composing Leelavadi commentary for the benefit of this kit. Right, right, going to state. And for the benefit of this kid, I am composing Leelavati. So the intended kid in the verse is unknown, Balaya. It may be Parameshra's own child, Damodara, or maybe anyone who has mastered all other Shastras except the science of mathematics. So the introductory verse of PCL itself is an internal evidence for fixing the authorship. The commentator has given similar references about his living places in works like Gola Dibiga. And the authorship of PCL can be well assumed from the closing colophon as well. Srimad Rudrasya Shishyena Leelavatya Kradamaya Parameshwara Namnaivam Vyakhyanam Harayenama. Besides, while enunciating the formula to find the arc length of a given code, the commentator state that this has been already discussed in the Siddhanta Deepika commentary of Mahabhaskariya. Mahato Bhaskariyasya Vyakhyayam Likhitam Maya Siddhanta Deepika Khyayam Karmajya Dhanuradigam. Thus, from the verses, Ample internal evidences can be seen to fix that PCL is the work of disciple of Rudra who lived in the banks of Arabian Sea and Nila River and who composed Siddhanta Deepika commentary of Mahabhaskariya. This is none other than Vadasheri Parameshwara Nambudri of 14th century. So now we will see some of the features of the commentary. Regarding the commentarial style, it can be stated that it is a simple and clear exposition of Leelavati. Not many works of Parameshra have been quoted in PCL. But it is pertinent to note that PCL, in PCL, Parameshra has mentioned about the Siddhanta Deepika commentary of Mahabhaskariya. While explaining the Leelavati verse to find the arc length of a given code, he states that this has already discussed in the Mahabhaskariya commentary. Also, while explaining the examples of Kuttaga method, he has stated that this has already been explained in detail in the Prasnadhyaya of Mahabhaskariya Vyakya. So he is not going to explain this anymore. Thus, it is pretty clear that PCL was composed after the composition of Siddhanta Deepika. Now, unlike Kriya Kramagari commentary, PCL does not include Sangraha slogas. The clear-cut style of writing obviously reduces 
the complexity of the subject matter. Usually, after stating the introductory part of the verse, the verse will be commented upon, like Preetim Iti, the first verse. The verse order and the readings of PCL is more in conformity with that of Kriya Kramagari and not with that of Buddhivilasani comment. Buddhivilasani. The commentators of Kriya Kramagari have profoundly quoted from Parameshwara's commentary. They have frequently expressed their respect with the phrase Taduktam param Parameshwara Acharyena. But there are many portions like Varga Karma Vishesha. That is variety of methods for finding the square roots. Where Kriya Kramagari is inducted to Parameshwara's commentary but remains quiet in citing the source. Many of the verses in the Varga Karma Vishesha of Kriya Kramagari can be traced back in Parameshra's commentary. In Parameshra's commentary, many of the derivations have not been made on the background of geometry, unlike Kriya Kramagari and other Malayalam commentaries. Hence, there are no figures drawn out in Parameshra's commentary. So, these are regarding the commentarial style. And also regarding Upapati, Parameshra is silent regarding Upapati, except two or three occasions. And the second feature is the abundance of examples and charm of illustrations. There are about 50 verses composed by Parameshra while commenting upon Leelavadi. Kriya Kramagari and other Malayalam commentaries usually explains the set examples of Leelavati. But Parameshwara, on the other hand, has given variety of illustrative examples of his own. He does not consider the verses of examples seen in Leelavati. Most of these examples demonstrate the qualities of head and heart of the commentator as well. As for example, on the shadow problems, while elucidating the Karana Sutra to find the distance between the base points, he gives the following verse as an illustrative example. Saumi bhage nilaya vrishabhavanam idi kshetram abdheta desyad tasminne gatra podadhvaja shirasi lasaddi bajata prabhatu shangor arkangulasya dvi shara nagasama sapta hastandaresyad yuna sa podamarga pramidimiha sakhe so, such kind of beautiful poetic flight are not so common in the other commentaries of Leelavati. Just as the author, the commentator was also keen in infusing poetic qualities to the verses. The cited examples points to the native place of Parameshwara as well. And use of Bhuda Sankhya system of numeral notation is another major feature. Usually, the Kerala School of Astronomers and Mathematicians were adhered to Kadabayadi system of numerical notation to express numbers. Starting from Grahajar Nibandhana of Haridatta, most of the followers used Kadabayadi for numerical notations. But Bhuta Sangya system has been profoundly used by Parameshwara Acharya in his commentary. Like Rashyur Ghadu Lagutriyam Sharahida Shakra Samhita. So, so the word Shakra denoting 14. And another major feature is that the observations on variant readings and interpolations. Parameshwara has noticed some variant readings and has suggested proper variants. For example, in the very first verse, the invocation of Leelavadi, the words Lalitya and Leelavati are taken as two distinct words usually. But here Parameshara notes, Kejit Shabda Shuddhyartham Lalitya Leelavati Ityegam Badam Gritva Vadandi. Ityegam Badam Gritva Vadandi Gila. Tatravi Adi Prasado Na Asman Manasi Vartade. So he was more objective and did not allow his subjectivity on making comments on variant readings. But at the same time, he has given suggestions on interpolations. To cite an instance, 
when commenting upon the formula to find the area of a quadrilateral, Parameshwara notes, Edat Prakshiptam idi kejit. If a scalene quadrilateral is cyclic and its sides are given, then its diagonals can be calculated. By praising Brahmagupta, Bhaskara too has given a formula in this regard. Verse number 116 in Leelavati, which Parameshwara thinks as a later interpolations. Interpolation. This observation of Parameshara on interpolations should be taken into account for the study of textile distortion of Leelavati. Now, while reading a text like Leelavati, the main hindrance a reader faces is the lack of acquaintance with the technical terms. Many of these technical terms have been precisely defined in the commentary. As for example, while defining the technical term getcha, the number of terms in an AP, uh, the commentary reads getcha shabdena pada muchyate. Similarly, the following words have precisely defined bhoomi and mukham. Chadur bhuje adhastido bahu bhoomi ridi kathyade. So base. And ubaristido mukhamidi. Top side. And lambam ubarigada kona dvayad bhoomau avalambidam sutra dvayam lambam ityuchyade. And regarding rational jatyam yasmin kshetre kshetra bhalam niravayavam bhavadi tad jatyam ityuchyade. Which one? Corner. Corner. Right. And this is one major feature that is supplementing optional or extended Karana Sutra. So while explaining it occasionally this suggests uh, alternative or extended Karana Sutras. These are some examples. To find the number of terms of an AP, Parameshara suggests Sredhi Balad Uttara Naga Nignad Chayadi Yugmandara Varga Yuktad Moolam Dvi Vaktronam Athoyudamcha Chayena Gacham Dvi Chayodhradam Syad. So he will, he will state Itiva Sutram. So it may be an extended sutra or an alternative sutra, optional sutra. So to find the nth term and the sum of n terms of an AP, he gives the formula chaya nihatam padam chaya ardhahinam mukha sahidam yadasya vargidam tu chaya dala vaktra bheda vargahinam dvi chaya hadam bhaved ghanam tu sarvam. So such kind of features can be seen in Parameshra's commentary. With that, I remain. Thank you. Thank you.